Hello everyone, today we have BMW E46, it's 320 diesel, full M, options inside, and this car has a um, little issue what owner wants to fix, that's with the gear selector, gear stick, so as you can see, here is some spring which holds this in the middle, so when you're going on the left left gears, first and second, it has a little pressure back, and you want reverse, it has springs, very strong spring, which you need to press to go in reverse. The, pro the problem is, this is loose, so th there is no tension from the spring on the right side, and we are going to fix that. So issue is sometimes you are not kind of sure is it in third going or fifth so it's in between and sometimes when it's cold you can't even turn, press it on the side it won't move fully so you can select fifth gear. So let's start. Jack up the car next we need to remove those covers and we're gonna start with removing of the gearbox so when you remove all covers now you can see gearbox and the detent detent so what we need to remove and replace they are just up there but in order to do it you have to take gearbox out so there is fifth gear in reverse on this side and then some of them for first, second and third they are on the top of the gearbox so next we are gonna take the clutch clutch cylinder out after that we are removing the power shaft and drive shaft and then support gearbox remove bracket take all the screws out around the bell housing and we are ready to to get down support your gearbox take out all of those bell housing bolts here on the bottom there was a bracket as well on the top there is three of them two big ones and sorry four of them two big ones and two small ones for for a starter motor, I keep this one last one and then gearbox goes out. So they hard despicer, the rubber out, gear selector as well. Here goes the is a one how you call it the detent which hold, holds this inside that out this can stay here and it's ready to go out there are details in in this you we need to remove those covers that's reverse and fifth gear first second and third should be on the top depends on the here one two three but we are gonna see how we're gonna change that or only reverse and fifth. Anyway, depends what kit you buy, you can replace all of them. So you put circlip pliers in here, press it, take out circlip.
So this one is for reverse gear on the top. The spring is stronger than for fifth gear. So next we need to use a special tool. So the, this surface, this edge goes towards down, towards the oil drain plug. But the best solution to look on this is oil drain plug depends if you are gonna have your gearbox on the side or just in natural po position. So it goes this way. Anyway, we are gonna show it with new parts again. Take a caliper and measure depth for the sleeve. It's a bushing actually, and measure it on one or two points. So you you just double check it straight inside, and then write your value so you know the new new part to put it on the right position. So you take this pick and use it to lift up the bush on the split area I'll show you on the new one as well how it looks what you have to do and then screwdriver lift it all, all the way in and that way it will compress on inside and you take it pliers and it's gonna be out so once you get it in this shape, not to damage the casing, you are ready to remove it. Just get the pliers, turn it on, on the left, and pull out. Nice and easy. That's all. So here we are. Here is new bushing. You you need to get something soft. The easiest is uh, aluminium bar, or you have some tool. There is a toolkit from BMW that you can use like a sliding pins for those bushings but I don't have it at the moment so that's the reason I measured the depth for bushings and we are gonna push in exactly on the same position as old ones so you get this one Put it on and start nice and even. Check it, it starts to move, to move properly, not to bend and jam it in. So if you if you're going straight in, it's gonna go all the way inside. After after you get fl flush with this one, you need to get some socket or some piece which is slightly smaller diameter than the bushing and it will work. Here we are, we made a special tool for sliding in the bush. Look at this. Better than original. So here we are, bushing is fully inside. Lubricate new detent and just push it in so this uh, angled surface goes down and that's ready to go inside perfect so it should be a little bit stiff not very should have some resistance while you moving it but not to be too loose and not too tight just like this now there is a spring a stiffer spring stronger one goes on the top perfect next there is in the kit you have have a circlip and cover so that goes all backwards. 
is a circ loop. So firstly, press this this cover in as much as it goes. Spring pushes it back, and next one you put circ loop. You hold it on the edge. Just put it on the edge, and then then you get something as something like a socket and tap it in okay and now you check it just check it around so it's fully in the groove here we are two of them are done so reverse and fifth gear next step removing those plugs three of them first second third gear you can get a pick or some punch and make a hole in the middle and then use the same technique it's enough I think get the screw get the screw and just take it out There you go. This is next to do. Bushing goes inside. Uh, detent spring and new cover from the top. And just same procedure for the next two of them.